quick tutorial on power posts and how to install them. There's a right and a wrong way. Now, we've got a bunch of choices here I'm going to show you later. Our favorite is the engineered products post. Let me tell you real quick how to put this in. The first thing to do is cut this plastic with this white plastic label on. You don't want to see that. Secondly, you can leave the wings on or remove them. These screws all are a hex head screw, so it's really easy. You need a nut driver like this. That's the first order of business. Now, you can dig these in. You can drive them in. If you drive them in, you've got to put a, a big thing, a piece of 2x4, 2x6, and hammer on that. Don't hammer on this top edge, because if you do, this is a captive link cap means it slides in and it also slides over so let me show you that is not installed correctly you gotta you gotta get that cap on there and get it down where the pipe actually fits up in the cap very important now, hear that that snap proves that it's in when you bury this pipe you want to bury it so that you've got the screw still above ground level and enough room to put the nut driver on the screw. If you bury it below that, you're defeating the purpose of the, the plan here. Also, this cap is a breakaway cap. The center section is designed that if somebody hits a fixture with a lawnmower or a ball or runs into it, uh, dog, my dog runs into mine, it'll break away the center section of the cap and save the fixture. And then it's really easy, if you've buried it to correct depth, back off the, uh, the set screw, pull the cap off, the broken pieces, change out, put a new cap on, and we have these new caps as a separate line item in stock. Here's the other thing. You don't have to bury it with the wings. I do recommend it. Most important thing, before you bury any of these, is take a, um, a what do you call that, bro? Rest rasp a rasp bit in a drill and put a chamfer on that edge that's a they use a chop saw to make these all the brands are the same that is a very sharp edge and if you want to save yourself a lot of problems down the road with cut wires round that edge off all the way to the end make it nice and smooth with a nice bevel line second thing is when you put them in plummet get a torpedo level plummet North and south, east and west, plummet. If you've already buried it and you forgot to plummet, you can go inside the pipe and do the same thing. So get it straight up and down. Pretty simple to install these, easy to use, very inexpensive, even on low voltage. And by the way, on line voltage, it is a UL approved 120 connection point. So it's good to go. We also have them in a two inch model in RAM. They come with the wings, they're just not installed. A three inch model, same thing. Same thing, a three inch model with a in use cover and a receptacle box. They call it their turtle post. It's a very cool product. And we have them in Arlington, not a breakaway. Boy, if you hit that, you're gonna break some fixtures. But with the wings, with the receptacle box, all in. So that's it. Remember, chamfer the edges, plummet get the cap all the way down because it's a captive link cap so EP posts thank you